Factsverse presents Couple Buys Crumbling 600-Year-Old French Chateau – Take a Look Inside Erin Shoa was studying overseas in 2010. She was an anesthetist from London and wanted to study in Edinburgh, Scotland, which is the capital. Jean-Baptiste Gua, aka JB, was a mechanical engineer from France who'd also moved to Scotland. He was there for a nine-month program, but he ended up staying for nine years. When the couple met, they fell in love. The couple wondered what great adventure their relationship would take them on. Erin was working as a doctor, and she and JB, who were now engaged, decided to move to France. As a doctor, it was possible for Erin to move to France, but her French wasn't good enough to earn a living in JB's home country. She was going to have to study the language first so that she could speak it fluently. Until she could, Erin was going to have to find another way to make money. JB and Erin decided to leave their current careers behind and try something new in France. The couple had an interest in history and historic houses. They thought they could rent properties to travelers on vacation. And that meant that Erin would leave her high-paying job as a doctor so that she and JB could own a real-life fairy tale mansion. The idea was to buy a classic chateau. They were hoping to find a French castle in the countryside which would be an excellent place for guests to stay and enjoy the luxuries of staying in such a beautiful place. The couple knew that they had to think about the concept carefully, though, before doing anything. For the couple to invest in a French castle, they realized that they would need to drain their savings. They also had to consider what it would cost to keep their own chateau and the average cost of living. The couple knew firsthand how expensive it was to have a one-bedroom apartment in Scotland's capital, let alone in London. Living the way that they were would cost about the same as buying a chateau in France, so they decided to take a chance and they dove in head first. The first thing they had to do was find a property. They were going to have to find a place to live, pack everything up, including their cat Oscar, and find a place in France. The couple started searching for real estate opportunities in France online, and they were looking for ancient properties that had tons of history. The couple traveled to France and checked out over 10 properties. There were hundreds of houses and chateaus to choose from. Many of them were beautiful, but not really worth the investment. Many of the places they looked at were in severe disrepair, and they weren't structurally sound. They'd need to spend most of their rehab budget just to make the houses safe, and it wasn't really worth the effort. JB and Aaron they searched for a while before they found the exquisite Chateau de Borneau. It was located in a forest near the village of Borneau in the western French region of Pays de Loire. The classic French property had full stone walls and turreted pillars. The style of the chateau was old, but the current building was rebuilt in 1863 after the original construction had fallen into disuse. JB and Aaron knew the chateau was neglected, but its plumbing system still worked in the mid-19th century. That meant the couple would have one less thing to worry about when transforming the castle. Because of its location and design, the couple decided to take a leap and buy the chateau. The inside of the chateau was a mess. It had been neglected for a long time and every area needed to be repaired. The couple had to repaint the whole place, they had to restore furniture, and even repair the water damage that was causing the moat to flap. JB and Aaron knew that it would take a lot of work, but they were determined to restore the castle to its former glory. They purchased the castle for £680,000, which is about $755,000 in the US. That's actually not all that pricey when it comes to a mansion, but it is if you're not a celebrity. To buy a place and renovate it, the couple had to drain their savings and also get a loan from the bank. The couple worked 14-hour days to go over every square inch of the 10,700-square-foot property. They decided to work from the bottom up, and just getting rid of the old matte paint required them to scrape away the old paint, prime the walls, and repaint. As they worked, they were finding hidden treasures. Things that had been left behind for years were all over the castle. They tried to return these items to their former glory, which would only add to the historical appearance. They also visited antique shops to find things to put in the castle. They started to realize their dream was becoming a reality. The landscaping needed severe work, and since the couple had left their jobs, they needed to find a way to pay for that. Eager tourists were booking rooms at the castle, and the paying customers helped to fund the renovations. When the local news heard about the renovated castle, they wanted to see inside as well. Aaron and JB made the dream come true. 
and the castle is amazing. Would you ever want to buy and fix up a castle like this? Do you have what it takes? Tell us what you think in the comments. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. And now the bloopers. She was an anesthetist. Anesthetist. She was an anesthetist. She was an anesthetist. Stupid. Yeah.